Southeastern University is holding a graduation ceremony tomorrow. It will be a proud moment for every graduate, but two in particular will really be patting themselves on the back. They're getting their master's degrees after escaping from the clutches of a terrorist group, the dreaded Boko Haram in Nigeria a few years ago. Fox 13's Ken Suarez is on campus with their inspiring story. Ken? You know, it really sounds like a movie, a horrible movie, but it has a very, very nice ending. You know, I first talked to these young women about a year ago. They were getting their undergraduate degrees, and when I got done talking to them, I walked away thinking, wow. Well, I talked to them again this morning, and I was thinking double wow because of all they've gone through and now what they've been able to accomplish. Come and show us your moves, man. The photos, the cap and gown. So what's it feel like first time? Exciting. Yeah, and yeah, feels nice like i'm a like i'm an important person or something it's the usual pomp and circumstance for perhaps okay. two of the most <laughs> unusual success stories ever at southeastern lydia pogu and joy bashara they survived being kidnapped by terrorists who captured their school in africa on friday lydia is going to be the student commencement speaker and tell their story i was offered the opportunity i was like heck yes eight years ago the unexpected the unthinkable happened they, along with almost 300 other young women, were kidnapped by Boko Haram. But when the truck they were in hit a rut, they jumped out and ran. Eventually, they got an offer to study in the U.S. and ended up here at Southeastern on scholarship. After graduation, Lydia wants to go to law school. Joy wants to work at a hospital. They both plan on starting nonprofits to help people because so many people have helped them. I want to make a difference worldwide. Either God say go to China, either God say go to Uganda, go to Nigeria, as long as I'm making a difference. Despite the danger of being a possible target, Joy is determined to return home to open hers. My nonprofit is going to be in Nigeria possibly in the Chibok area. Because Boko Haram is still creating havoc there, kidnapping children and worse. It's happening a lot more than it used to. It's so terrible. Throughout the entire ordeal and their journey here, they say they follow the same guiding light. No matter what happened in their life, they should push through and always seek God first. Just as they did. Now, if that is not an inspiring story, I don't know what is. There is a darker side to all this, and that is there were 300 young women who were abducted with the two women here. A hundred of them are still missing to this very day. Very sad. It is very yeah. sad, but can the two women you just introduced us to, they're going to help young women like that. Yeah. And that's amazing. Yeah, that Thanks. really is amazing.